Hey, hey guys, this is the Dave Shadell Show, and this is the last episode of season one, but it's also our Christmas episode. So we have some great things in store for you guys this week. First, we've got the Dave and Busted with a holiday twist. Then we've got an interview with the second most Christmassy man in the world, Mr. Marshall Franklin. After that, some eBay Christmas ideas for those who like to procrastinate, like me. And finally, we have the 12 don'ts of Christmas. But first, here's Dave and Busted. What is your family's weirdest Christmas tradition? Weirdest Christmas tradition? Well, I'm Filipino. Okay. So we cook a lot of like Filipino food. And one of the Filipino dishes that we make is called lechon, which is basically a pig. A whole pig? You just oh. roast a whole pig? Oh my it, goodness. Ooh, I live on a farm. That's kind of weird. Um, that is different. Yeah. Um, we all get up and feed the animals together at like 5 a.m. <laughs> is that like a bonding experience? No, we all hate it. We don't actually ever get a Christmas tree. We build our own Christmas trees. Um, we did one out of insulation. We made one out of books, out of um, old doors that we found laying around. So we always, we build them out of something that we find. Um, what is the weirdest Christmas gift you've ever gotten? One year, my grandma got me a sweater, and the next year got me the same exact sweater. I didn't realize it. <laughs> um, when I was like 14, I had a bad acne problem. Okay. So my sisters like gave me like this acne solution thing. <laughs> but the thing is, it gave me a bad reaction. Oh no! So my brother once got a toilet in a like dirty Santa gift exchange. Like in a complete toilet? Yes. My young cousin went shopping for me oh, and no. he bought me aftershave and candles. There was a turtle. There's a stuffed animal turtle. It's from <laughs> someone that like I just met a week before. And you opened its shell and there'd be two baby turtles no! inside. So my parents thought my dad thought it would be hilarious to get me some canned escargot. <laughs> and that thing sat on the shelf for three years before we got into it. We still have a Christmas gift for you. We want you to open this and experience a little Christmas joy. Oh my word. Make sure you show it to the camera. I will, I this will is for yours the camera. forever. Me, mine forever. I'm a <gasps> What? This is not what I was expecting. It's a 2016 12 month calendar. I've needed one and it's so perfect. bad. <laughs> These are very specified gifts. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> we got her a ninja with accessories. If this All doesn't get you through exam All week, I don't know what will. <laughs> it's a majestic mule! It's a nene! <laughs> <laughs> this one's been labeled, you're beautiful. And I really just wanted you to have this gift. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's what always what I've ever wanted. <laughs> I knew it was on your Christmas list, Wilbur. It definitely was. Oh. Can you name all of the reindeer? I can try. Go ahead. Um, this is gonna be awful. Rudolph. Rudolph. Um, Blixen? Is that? Yes. Blixen. Blixen. Is that? No, it's not. Am I getting a yes or a no from the camera? That is no. no. Nixon. Nixon. Is Nixon is a president, <laughs> not a reindeer. I don't remember that. <laughs> This morning, I got a letter from Santa telling me that he had canceled our long-anticipated interview for the show. So I thought, who better and more Christmassy than Marshall Franklin, one of Bob Jones' vice presidents, to do a Christmas interview with? How are you doing, Mr. Franklin? I'm doing well. Thank you for the invite. Oh, I know. You are known as the number two Christmassy character in the world, pretty much. So how do you feel wow. about that title? Well, it's, uh, it's an honor. I don't... Uh, I don't know how I deserve it but it's it's you got out of your Santa it. suit moments before you came on stage yes. yeah I didn't I wanted to be a little more of a <laughs> didn't uh, want to compete with him yes understand more behind the scenes quiet incognito <laughs> Santa. The, yeah. the, the number two but still Christmassy exactly understandable Absolutely. understandable yes sir now for you <laughs> what would you say one of the funniest or weirdest Christmas memories are or is yeah, we had a Christmas. Kids were little. That's always makes it more oh, exciting. Oh, dangerous. <laughs> Christmas tree was was decorated. My wife is very committed to mm -hmm. Christmas decorations, <laughs> all out. And so the Christmas tree was right beside the spiral staircase down to the playroom. Oh. And one of the children started exploring. The tree fell over. At least one of the children <laughs> was underneath the tree. And the, as you can imagine, the decorations it fell across the um the railing and then the, the mm -hmm. ornaments fell into the basement clattered on the cement wall yeah and the kids thought 
they had been under attack. <laughs> and so this still lives in the Franklin lore. Remember when the Christmas tree fell and children were in danger. Running so and screaming. They were running and screaming. Much pandemonium. Yes, it took, it took some counseling to get a couple of them over it because it was very traumatic. <laughs> You know, at that age. No, understandable. Because when you're this high on the Christmas tree, it's, <laughs> I it's extraordinary. I was just helping my brother put up ours, and I was terrified of yeah, it. there you go. You know, yeah. and I'm 21. Yeah. But it's a rational fear, like, right? Like you to a pine tree is, <laughs> is a the child Christmas, to a Christmas tree. 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 Yeah. Understandable. So it's very intimidating. Especially when you're trapped under one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, anyway. what for you is one of the weirdest Christmas gifts you've ever gotten? Christmas gifts. Well, I will say there was a Christmas gift. I'll flip it to my wife. Oh, that I feel like was underappreciated. I oh. thought, what can my wife use? I spent time, a lot of time, what can my That's a dangerous start. It is, <laughs> and I probably really thought too much. I mean, you go to jewelry, you go to perfume, mm -hmm. you go to those kind of areas is really the safer zone in mm -hmm. Christmas gift. So, but I, I, was, I thought too much, I, I clearly did, and so I said, well, she opens cans of food every day. Oh, no. <laughs> and so I did some research and I found a wireless handheld can opener and hey. I was so excited that year and I made her wait till the very last to open the can opener and she said <laughs> you gotta be kidding me <laughs> you, there's something else coming and I said no no it's a and I started trying to sell it and the girls chimed in dad this is bad and <laughs> it's still to oh. this day is, is that a, another piece of Franklin lore it's a problem. Oh, it's a problem understandable. In the Franklin family, but all right. So know. as we wrap up, yes. what is one holiday thing that you're just really pumped about this break? We've got like two-ish weeks left, wrapping up classes, yeah. wrapping up yeah. finals, and then do you guys finish the same time we do, or do you have a couple more days? We've got a couple more days. We we let y'all leave, and then we kind of clean up the place mm -hmm. behind you. Um, really, uh, just like you, the rest is going to be enjoyable. The night before Christmas, we do um, It's a Wonderful Life oh. of, of tradition in our family. We eat, uh, we eat chili with it, so that's really, really nice. I, I have to admit, I cry most episodes <laughs> on an annual basis. <laughs> Every so year. I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to your yearly cry. Working forward, yep, yep. <laughs> Thinking about, oh, what about the light? You know, man, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Thanks yep. so much for coming Thank in, Mr. You, Franklin. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate it. If you're like me, you probably haven't bought any Christmas gifts for anyone that's actually important in your life yet. But don't worry, The Shredell Show has you covered. We've done a little bit of Googling and found a couple of great options for you. First, on eBay, at the low price of $7.90, you can purchase an inflatable unicorn horn. It does not actually come with the unicorn. It appears that you should wear it on your forehead. And lastly, and probably most important for this holiday season, we have coming in at $51.51, Darth Vader onesies. These things are the stuff of legend, in fact. To help you guys make it through the holidays, we have the 12 don'ts of Christmas. 12. Don't let reindeers play games like Monopoly. They're constant cheaters and their hooves break everything. 11. Don't visit mall Santas. Why would you ever pay to get a picture with a stranger in a costume? Plus, he smells like beef and cheese. 10. Don't feel bad when your relatives give you socks for Christmas. It's the thought that counts, right? But, I mean, money would be nice. It's not a terrible thought. A college student has bills, Aunt Betty. 9. Don't ask anyone for frigging pudding. Google image it. It looks like a rejected veggie tail. 8. Don't eat a fruitcake. There. The joke is out of the way. 7. Don't eat too much this Christmas, or you'll get a visit from the ghost of poor self-control, the ghost of forgotten diets, and the ghost of inevitable shame. I know personally. Six, don't give people partridges in a pear tree. I hear they're going extinct, and that is a super obnoxious gift. Five, don't go sneaking around your house on Christmas Eve. I had a friend who did that once. He caught his mother kissing, kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe that night. It is a long story. Four, don't forget the true meaning of Christmas. Consumerism and credit card debt. Ah, uh, warms the heart, doesn't it? Three. Don't brag about your Christmas gifts. No one cares that you got a hippopotamus, Frank. Two, don't ring bells around Christmas right now. I hear there's actually an overstock of wings. And one, finally, don't tell Dave that Santa's not real, I... Wait, he's not real? Who wrote this? Cameron, Cameron, why would you tell me that Santa's not real? 
Well, in other news, I'm in need of a new floor manager, and Cameron's fired. Well, thanks so much for watching this semester, guys, and thank you for all you've done. Have a wonderful Christmas.